Does the Bible mention what happened to the Garden of Eden after Adam and Eve were kicked out? Where was it? Does it still still exist somewhere today? What happened to it? Yeah, this is a really good question because you hear about this all the time. I don't know whether you got this in uh, in the United States, but certainly in 2003 when there was the invasion of Iraq, one of the things that the BBC kept saying on their news reports was, "This is the site of the legendary Garden of Eden." And they were just coming out. They they said that's it, huh? Yeah. Wow, that's it. interesting. That's it. Absolutely. Now, I've heard a couple different theories on where the Garden of Eden could be today. I think we need to address what we think about it, but here's some of the theories I've heard. I've heard that, no, it still is where the Tigris and Euphrates River are because, hey, the Bible says that there were four rivers and one was Tigris and one was Euphrates, so it's got to be right there. Yes. In the uh, Mesopotamian Valley. But then that could place it in one of two places. It could place it somewhere near the sources of the rivers up in the mountains. Uh, that's true. Or it could place it where the two rivers flow together just mm. before they flow into the, I think it's the Persian Gulf. That flows and really that doesn't work anyway when you think about it because there were four rivers that had uh, the same source or different sources? There's one source is one river out of Eden divided into four into rivers. Into four, that's correct. Uh, where are the other two rivers anyway? Uh, I don't remember the name of them. I might have to look it up. Well, uh, the point is they're not there. <laughs> they aren't there. They're not there in that particular oh, I you place. Asked, what, a what are they? What were you know, they? I can never remember. I think it's the Pishon and the Havilah. It's in, it's in like uh, Genesis chapter 2. Um, that's, uh, you should have turned to that before, shouldn't we? But there <laughs> it, it is there. And there are four. the point is there are four streams. Those other two are not there. So it doesn't make a lot of sense to say that's the site of the Garden of Eden. That one really doesn't work. Okay, here's another one. I've heard um, uh, the idea of where Christ was crucified is the same place where Abraham was going to offer Isaac. I can buy that. I can, I can see that. Yes. And therefore, that is where the Garden of Eden was. I like that idea better, but it is still problematic. And the reason why it's problematic is if you look at the end of Genesis chapter 3, what happened to the Garden of Eden when Adam and Eve were expelled from the Garden of Eden? It says that uh, God drove out the man and he placed mm -hmm. cherubim at the east of the Garden of Eden and a flaming sword which turned every way to guard the way to the Tree of Life. Now, I, I must admit, I have not been to Jerusalem personally, have you? I have not had that chance. No, no I but I, I do know people who been there. They haven't reported to me about there being a garden there with a cherubim uh, outside I certainly it. haven't heard of it. You think that would be on the news? I, I think so. I think, uh, you know, certainly you should be able to find it on Google Earth. <laughs>